If you are looking to extract information out of the websites with the help of AI, then Scrape Graph AI is your friend. It is simply a Python library powered by large language models to enable you to scrape any website. Scrape Graph AI is a web scraping Python library that uses large language models or LLMs and direct graph logic to create scraping pipelines for websites, documents, and XML files. It also automates data extraction from any sort of a web document. All you need to do is to specify the information you want to extract and this library is going to handle the rest of the lot, which includes fetching the document, parsing it, doing retrieval augmented generation, and then generating the answer in JSON format. There are a lot of other good features around this library. For example, this allows you to define data requirements while its LLMs manage the complexities of navigating and extracting structured data in JSON format. It also allows you to have a direct graph logic that uses a graph based approach to dynamically create scraping pipelines. It processes user defined prompts to intelligently retrieve specified data and that specified data which you want can be in natural language. It integrates LLMs to interpret user inputs and automate data extraction, reducing the need for manual coding. And if you have used any JavaScript or Java or any other language to scrape the data, you will really appreciate this tool. It supports a wide range of AI models, including OpenAI, Grok, Azure, and you can also put in Llama. And in this video, I will be locally installing it. And then we will use Olama based models in order to do the web sc scraping by using this scrape graph AI. You would need few things to get it installed. For example, you would need Playwright for handling JavaScript heavy sites. Plus, I would highly suggest that you use Conda or Python's virtual environment to get it installed. Let me take you to my local system where I am running Ubuntu. 22.04 and this is where I am going to install everything. I am running one GPU with 16 GPU of VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. You can try it out running on CPU but I would highly suggest that at least have one GPU especially if you are running Olama and the local LLMs which I am going to do. By the way I will be using Olama with it. Olama is one of the easiest quickest tool to run large language models locally if you don't know what olama is i have done heaps of videos on the channel just search with olama and you should be able to find many videos where i go in detail as how to install olama how to run it and how to manage it very simple tool by the way coming back to our terminal let me clear the screen as i said i will be creating a virtual environment using anaconda which will keep everything separate from your local installation nice clean and tidy so i'm creating the virtual environment with the name of scrape ai let's press y here and it is going to install everything separately for you let's activate this scrape ai environment and you will see that now it is activated in this parenthesis let me clear the screen that's done now let's install our scrape graph ai and the command is very simple simple do pip install scrape graph ai it is going to install it from PyPy. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't to take too long. And it's, it installs a lot of things on your local system. Almost there. Grape Graph here is done. Let me clear the screen. And now let's install this chromium driver because we'll be using browser to navigate the web of course that is done it's already there by the way on my system then let's install nest for the async one let me clear the screen and install nest async that is done let's also install playwright as i said we will be handling java with it that is done let's install all the playwright dependencies that takes a bit of a time sometimes, but this time it was quick, uh, quick, which is good. Let's clear the screen. And now let's install Playwright here. By using Playwright install, it's fairly quick. 
now as i was saying that we would need to run mistral and nomic embed text for embedding with the olama so if you do olama list here you will see i already have downloaded this mistral and nomic embed text for example if i want to run mistral i would just do this olama run mistral it is running but we are not running mistral here we just wanted to see that both the models are loaded if you haven't simply done uh, haven't downloaded simply do olama run and then mistral and it is going to download the mistral on your local system similarly if you want to load this embedding model simply do nomic embed text and it is going to download this model on your local system and the reason why i need this embedding model is because we will extract the data from the website which will be text html and other stuff but model doesn't understand text model understands vector or numerical representations or embeddings so this uh, model we use to convert that uh, tokens or words into embeddings and there is a lot of other stuff this is primarily called as rag or retrieval augmented generation and i have done heaps of videos on it so please search the channel if you want more detail on it but on a quick way so what rag does is it takes out um, all of the relevant data as per your prompt so for example if you ask something from the large language model it is converted into numerical representation then your pipeline such as this checks out your vector database where all the embeddings are stored and only retrieves the similar embeddings and then returns the result by augmenting the prompt of your model and there is a lot of other things around that which is not the topic of this video anyways all the installation is done until this point now let's run it so let me clear the screen let me launch my python interpreter first let's import the async library because browsing the web is an asynchronous process let's apply it and now let's import the source graph ai's graph because it works on that direct graph logic as i mentioned earlier and now let's give it our graph config the graph config as you can see on your screen specifies your model and you can see i'm using olama mistral you can use any other olama model if you like and then i'm just setting this temperature which is a randomness of response so it, the value is normally between zero and one zero means it will be deterministic or same every time if you want the random value or more creative value from model you can set it to closer to one format is json and then base url specifies where olama is running and then i'm telling it that this is my embedding model so graph config is set let's initialize our scraper or smart scraper graph and here i'm just asking it my natural language prompt is list me all the articles source is my own website fahadmirza.com and i'm specifying the above graph config to use that model that is all you need to do in terms of configuration in order to run it simply run smart scrape graph dot run it takes a bit of a time depending on your the size of your website so let's wait for it that's done let's print out there you go so these are all the articles from my website it is telling me the titles and their date and so on and so forth how good is that so this is how easy it is to scrape the data by simply giving it a website url plus your um, natural language prompt and of course you this source can be replaced by a string of html this can be replaced by an xml document or your document and you can easily scrape the data out of it so all in all i mean one of the really good tools which i have found recently in terms of scraping the web data using ai i will drop the link to this uh, repo in video's description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching